Sirius XM. Damn show is flying by today. Patrice O'Neill in studio. Rockin'. Now, uh, we're going to get right into the Mel Gibson tape. Yes. Tape number four. We played it late in the show yesterday. We're going to play it again here so we could really enjoy it and, and, and get Patrice's take on it. Bask in And then it. Sam runs down the hall uh, during the break and goes, tape number five being released at 9.30 this morning. No <laughs> fucking And you know way. that the Today Show led today by saying, are these tapes real? They're even confused. Like, at this point, are these fucking tapes real? It's doing too much damage And we believe to on him. this show that they have to be real. But they're questioning it because yes. it's so unbelievable to everybody. I have Mel Gibson from Australia on the phone. <laughs> we'll talk to uh, him. Uh, and also, the remix is coming in like crazy from one person. D-Boy is becoming a international star at this point. D-Boy is amazing. His shining remix is on whatwouldtylerdurdendo.com. We just played it for you. But now we got uh, Tiger Woods calling Mel Gibson. Whoa. We got uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter calling Mel Gibson. <laughs> uh oh So we got a lot of shit to do. So we, we should jump right into tape number four here so we can yeah. play the remixes after that, okay? Let's hear uh, Mel Gibson. This is tape number four. And tape number five coming out in about an hour, and we'll certainly play it as soon as we get it. But first... Tape number four, once again. Total idea. What the fuck do you hope to accomplish with that? What are you hoping to accomplish with that? What, are you going to pay me back? If you do that, it's over. It's over now. Fuck you. How dare you act like such a bitch when I'm being so fucking nice. I did not blame you. What? I did nothing but be nice to you. What? I've done nothing but be nice to you. I didn't blame you last now, night. What are you a little bitch this morning for? I wasn't... I wasn't doing anything. What did I do? And you said, oh, also earlier today, you... Oh, never mind. What the fuck were you going to say? <laughs> Mel is being a little unreasonable. <laughs> We've been saying it all along. Uh, uh, We're amazed that Mel Gibson has to put up with this shit. <laughs> he's, Mel, well, he's Mel fucking Gibson. But it's the old Mel Gibson now. <laughs> oh, yeah, with the dry hair. It's not the, I forgot. Yes. Not Road not, Warrior. Not the, not the moist Mad Max. Hair. Mad Max. His hair's a little dry. <laughs> I, I wasn't going to say about any earlier today. It's just... I was going to say about last night. That's all. We were supposed to go to jacuzzi, and you said you have to wait for something. So why do you have to wait? You said... You go to the goddamn jacuzzi. I'm, I'm afraid it's dark outside. Fuck it. <laughs> Look right there. I love that. This is how you know this is not all her. Yeah. Every time she does make a point, which anyone will do, yeah. Mel dismisses it. She went about that, and Mel was like, fuck it. Well, uh, it's dark outside. I'm scared. Fuck it. Get out there, blow me. <laughs> All Mel is doing is throwing roundhouse punches, and every time she effectively blocks one, instead of going, oh, okay, you blocked one, he just backs up and goes, all right, and then uppercuts. <laughs> yeah, he just keeps coming <laughs> He's just in. looking for ins. <laughs> but she's attacking him with what annoys him. Yeah, is her man. lack of, her just her that, lack of humanity. No, yeah. he's man. so mad. Well, she has you her said, agenda. You said we will go to thing. jacuzzi. We go to jacuzzi. Yeah, she but sounds like Michio Kaku when she argues. But if that wasn't yeah. how, if that wasn't how she argued, mm -hmm. then he would go, "What the bitch? What is this? Right. Are you taping me?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Like th that's what she does. Yeah, she, she was actually she was being her. Fun man, dismissive jacuzzi. It's all nice when they were in the sweetheart phase, you know, mm -hmm. Mel. That's wonderful that you do for me. I love you. I love you too. It's wonderful. It's fabulous. <laughs> and, and then it's just like, oh man, I was go to jacuzzi. <laughs> <laughs> Go <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Why would that be a problem? <laughs> I don't know. He's mad though. He's mad about the He's jacuzzi. Fucking mad. She start. She started getting rights. Yeah. Somewhere in that relationship. She slowly got her rights, mm -hmm. oh, and he's damn. he's trying. He's he lost it, but he he didn't catch that she was getting her rights 
when they did just one day it, she, it, he she went, woke oh up and my she god. had she had rights. Oh right. my god, she's got rights. <laughs> yeah. I just waited for you. I waited and waited till I fell asleep and then We didn't wait it like two and a half fucking minutes. You're fucking snoring. Don't you dare <laughs> wait. You're blaming me right now. Now I'm blaming you. You went to sleep. And I don't blame you. <laughs> I deserve to be blown first before the fucking jacuzzi. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest thing ever said I, by a man I right there. I deserve to be blown first before I the challenge jacuzzi. you. That is the greatest thing ever said by a man. When you think of the problems in the world, like there literally are kids who have flies crawling on their mouths. And then, like, if aliens came here and they just looked at all the human problems. And they went from someone with a fly on their mouth and then just fucking panned over to Mel. I deserve to be blown before the jacuzzi. Before the jacuzzi. Is this, gr is this greater than one step for... Oh, oh my God. One small step for man, yeah, one giant leap for mankind. Of course. Right, right. Oh, that sure. line is right up there. Right up with, there, yeah. Ich bin ein How could this be fake? If this is if this is a, a fake thing, Ball. it has to be put up for some kind of Oscar. Because it, it, no be one says amazing. that. No. no one says that in in improv. This has to be put in a time capsule. He would be for sitting, other generations. If this, if, this was, <laughs> if this was fake, he would be sequestered somewhere right now, going. I can't believe they're still fucking believing this when I said blow me before the jacuzzi. Like that line, if I had said that as a joke and people believed it, I'd be, I'd be amazed. Mm -hmm. Amazed that people would believe that a human would say something that silly. Didn't he say to you, you could hear she talks over because she is very rude interrupting this yes. amazing tirade. Yes. <laughs> Do, did you, oh boy, Jimmy. Doesn't he say like, we, did that one part, can we hear that again? Oh, we're, I think we she went, went backwards. Didn't she go like, you blew me? But he goes, you blew me. Uh, you fell asleep without blowing me. He says it again before he says you deserve yeah, 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 yes. The first time he says it. Uh, let me go way back then. It's, oh, not, it's like a second what? before it. Oh, it is? Oh, All right. Let's, let's, let's pick it up here. For what, what is she... W w the part... The, the, that's the thing. She said you... The thing where she goes... Oh, my God. He... Uh, fuck it. Play it. Because <laughs> there's something she says, and, and he, I, I still don't get... Because he was... I don't get it. Part of it is this. I think she fell asleep before they fucked around. Yes, that's yeah, what yeah. Yeah, that's Mel is happened. one of these guys who he's really feeling like he feels sexually rejected. And it's like, I used to do that in relationships where if I didn't get what I wanted sexually, I would okay. brood. Mm. And I would brood. And then the next day, everything, she'd go, how you doing? Fine. And I would wait for her to know oh. that she didn't do what I wanted her to do sexually. I was really hurt and selfish, but I was angry. And it was like she would do something else, like, uh, you know, uh, not get me the right kind of sandwich. I'd be like, what the fuck? That's not what I asked for. Right, right. All coming from this night before. And that's where but that rage about... what was the two-minute thing? That, like, you were that... sleeping two minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever. Okay. He, he yeah. apparently had to do something. So he left the room. He was excited but, to go into the bedroom and, and get a little action. He said but two she was and a half asleep in two minutes. In two minutes, he came back. She goes, well, you left for a while and he goes a while it was two and a half minutes he comes back and she's snoring he said something like snoring Can, yeah. the, the, yes, we're, we are we are slowly uncovering the, this thing yes yes <laughs> again i think she changed the contract she, yes mm. she fucking in that she starts starting to treat him like a old man uh, with dry hair with dry hair keep going with the dry hair, hair. Yeah, and that and solid. that's and he and that's her job was not to treat him like that yep. her job was her job was to fucking make him feel like and, and there's one of the tapes where he goes i want a woman a woman to make me feel ugh. like a man yeah, like yeah, a yeah. Man. and he has no soulmate but because he because he's a fucking billionaire sociopath who now dick doesn't get raging hard he doesn't get road warrior hard no more <laughs> road right. warrior. and and he needs a girl that in accepts that his, his dick, dick needs is that, his a little dick, bendy dick needs that brace like a road warrior <laughs> <out of his leg. laughs> it, it, he needs love he yeah, needs somebody yeah. that loves his dry hair but he's, he all, <laughs> he's also here's where he fucked up and and changed the contract she is expecting Mel Gibson to be Mel Gibson and go, it's time for some fucking stupid. Instead, every time she rejects him, he's like, oh, come on. Yep. She yeah, wasn't yeah. ready for all. Oh, come on. She's like, oh, no. Yeah. He's like, every guy I've fucked. He's like, he, he, she owns him. He should own her, but he doesn't. 
she owns him sexually, and he resents yeah. it. Women want you to talk. Yeah. Women want you to talk the relationship from suicide. <laughs> they, they like they they they're willing to take, but they want. They, I'm telling you, man. My girl finds this to be. She wants to get me to that point because it seems like it it means something. But it's like they do that. They like they fucking do that anytime. Like I have my girl. Now she talks, right? She talks a lot. <laughs> and she repeats things 50 times because she's like, I'm talking. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. Oh and I go, God. and I got to go, I got to go, bitch, listen, man, you got to shut up. Holy and then she goes, see, 